were come together, they asked of him, saying, Lord, wilt thou at this time restore again the kingdom of Israel? So the kingdom of heaven is basically set up for the nation of Israel, neither Negro Latino of the day of America. We're the ones that's going to rule the kingdom of heaven. That's the, the 12, kingdom of heaven. 12 tribes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we're the ones going to yeah. rule it, rule yeah. the kingdom of heaven, which is going to be on the earth. Yeah, yeah, okay? yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. That's why I say so the verse, verse, verse yeah. 7. Yeah. And he yeah. said unto them, It is not for you to know the times or the, the seasons which the he which the Father has put in his own power. Yo, when the Lord's coming back, when the Savior's coming back, go yeah. ahead, and the kingdom of heaven is going to be set up. Go ahead. But ye shall receive power after that the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost parts of the earth. Go ahead. It's in verse 9. And when he has spoke these things while they beheld, he was taken up in a cloud and in a cloud received him out of their out of their sight. So he went up into the heavens. Right, right, right. You right. see? So he ascended up into the heavens. Yeah, yeah. You see? Go ahead. Verse 10. And while they looked steadfastly towards heaven as he went up, behold, two men stood by them. These were white. angels. These were angels. Go ahead. He said, uh, two men stood, uh, stood by them in white apparel, mm -hmm. which also said, ye men of Galilee, why stand, why stand ye gaze, gazing up into heaven? Question. This same Yahawashai, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall shall so come in like manner as ye have seen him go into heaven. So that's how he gonna come back. And what the world ignorant call UFO, but we know that chariots of Israel, okay? The heavenly father, that's the heavenly father the fathership and who the world enemy called Jesus is gonna come back in the warship because he's coming back to take down the rulers of this earth to yeah. set us up. Okay? So he's coming back in the Heavenly Father warship. Okay? When you read the Bible, uh one of the prophets, which is Ezra, said when he seen uh who the world enemy called Jesus coming back, he said the the, the, the ship was about the size of a mountain. He said it was so big, and he was looking around trying to see where the mountain was cut out. And he said he couldn't find it. It was a, it was a, it was a father warship coming back, and the savior in it, coming to deliver his people and set them up as, as rulers on the earth. You see, that's what it. That's what. Uh, that's what the angel is saying. Saying, look, he gonna come back in that manner. Same way you seen him take off in the ship, he gonna come back in the ship. And it tells you that in Revelation, matter of fact, get to the Revelation first chapter. Where every eye shall see it. This is Revelation chapter 1, uh, start at verse 6. It says, And has made us kings and priests unto the Most High and his Father, to him be glory and dominion forever and ever. So be it. That's what we're going to be in the kingdom of heaven, kings and priests. Go ahead. So uh, verse 7. Behold, he cometh with clouds. He cometh with clouds. Now, in the Bible, that's symbolic. Clouds represent uh, so-called UFOs, but we know that chariots of Israel. Okay, go ahead. And every eye shall see him. Everybody gonna see him. Okay. When we reading about in Acts the first chapter, the angel said he gonna come back in like manner. Go ahead. And they also which pierced him. They also which pierced him. The Romans pierced him. Okay, in the ancient world, there was a cruel way to punish somebody, okay? See, the Romans pierced him. See, when you go into the customs of Israel, the Negro Latinos and Native American, when we put somebody to death, we would stone them, yeah, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, the Edomites, which was Romans, was the one who pierced them and set them up on the cross. They were white, white folks, and I told somebody else about that. I said, man, the Romans were white folks, man. And but but like, our people was in yeah. agreement with him going through that. That's yeah. why they said, yeah. crucify him. Yeah. Let his blood be on us and our children. So what our people were saying, uh, what our people were saying when they said that, they were saying they want to be responsible for his bloodshed, and they got to pay for that too. Yeah, yeah. You see what I'm saying? Our own people, meaning the so-called Negroes, the so-called Haitians, and the so-called Jamaicans. That's why them Haitians are catching hell down there like that. 
Because yeah. they was an ancient Levite. Yeah. Okay? They was an ancient priest. And then not only that, they in the pool with all the other shoes. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Both yeah. of them. Both of them on that island. Yeah. Dominicans and uh, the Haitians. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Dominic, Dominicans are Simeon, okay? And uh, uh, the Haitians are Levite. They on the same island. Brother. Go ahead. It says, and all kindreds of the earth shall well because of him. Because they rejected him. But going back to them, go read back up to where they pierced him. This is uh, verse 7. It's Revelation chapter 1, verse 7. It says, Behold, he cometh with clouds, mm -hmm. and every eye shall see him. Mm -hmm. And they also which pierced him. It said, they also which pierced him. So he got pierced 2,000 years ago. That's how cold the Bible is. How beautiful the Bible is. He got pierced 2,000 years ago. And it's saying the ones who pierced him, they going to see him. So where they going to be? Yeah. They going to be here. Oh, uh, yeah. So he got to get them. He got to get them too. The one who stuck them on that cross, Nobody. which was the Romans. Now, what, now what's that part of the Bible they talking about when they going to raise folks from the grave, everybody that was dead, they going to raise them up? I know it's somewhere in Revelation. Yeah, it's in Thessalonians. Yeah, it's in yeah. Thessalonians. Yeah. It's in Thessalonians. Go ahead, bro. Oh. It says, even so, so be it. So be it. So that's what it's gonna be. He gonna come back in the cloud, man, yeah. which in which is in the the Father uh, worship. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's how he coming back. Same way he went up in the chariot. That's how he gonna come back in the in the chariot. Now I'm gonna show you this in uh, Ezra. Get, get second Ezra. I'm gonna show you this in Ezra. So when he come back, the damage he gonna do. Uh, second Ezra uh, 13. Alright. Start the first verse. Second Ezra 13. Start the first verse. Alright, this is uh this is second Ezra chapter 13 verse 1. So when he come back, when everybody see him, this how this how he gonna get down. Okay? Go ahead. It says uh the second Ezra chapter 13 verse 1. And it came to pass after seven days, I dreamed a dream by night. Yeah, so he's seeing the vision, right? Go ahead. And lo, there arose a wind from, from the sea, mm -hmm. that it moved all the waves thereof. So what that is showing you, the power of him returning. Basically, there you know he got dominion over everything. He ruling over everything. Go ahead. Verse 3. And I beheld, and lo, that man waxed strong with the thousands of heaven. So that's him coming back, who the world enemy called Jesus, which his true name is Yahweh Shai in the Hebrew. Go ahead. And when he turned his countenance to look, all the, the things trembled that were seen under him. So it said in, in Revelation, it said, every eye shall see him. So when he came back, when he was in the sky, everybody on the bottom, on the, on the earth, when they see him, they were scared. Yeah. They were scared. It said every eye, it's read it again. This is uh the second Ezra chapter 13, verse 3. Go ahead. And I beheld, and lo, that man waxed strong with the thousands of heaven. Mm -hmm. The thousands of heavens mean the angels too. Come back with angels. Go ahead. And when he turned his countenance to look, all the things trembled that were seen under him. That were seen under him. So everybody on this earth that seen him, it was trembling. Okay, go ahead. And whensoever the voice went out of his mouth, the voice represent laser beam. So this is what it's talking about. That laser beam right yeah. there. Okay, that's what it's talking about. Just to give you a visual yeah. when you see. Go ahead. It says, all they burned that heard his voice like as the earth faileth when it it falleth uh, the fire. Okay, it is like when the fire is burning something, the earth faileth, it start breaking up and falling apart. Okay, it's not the same. So that's the way when that fire hit whoever's on the earth who's supposed to be hit by it, uh, they start falling apart and being broke up yeah. like a like a uh, dry leaf. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. So start the element. The element, which they're walking elements, that's what we are. The elements start breaking up in them yeah. from that fire. Go ahead. 
uh, verse 5. And after this I beheld, and lo, there was gathered together a multitude of men. So that's all the armies on this earth. They're talking about the multitude of men because they want to fight them. That's all the military powers on the earth. Because when he comes back, it's going to be full-fledged World War III. Yeah, now, yeah, yeah. now, now, right now, right now, we in the beginning stages of World War III. Yeah. Okay? When they go down, when Russia, China, uh, Pakistan, Iran, uh, Saudi Arabia, uh, America, Great Britain, France, Germany, I'm just naming, you know what I'm saying, some of them. When all of them go down into the land of Jehoshaphat in the Middle East and they fight, that's when that's going to happen. Because they're going to be fighting and he's going to appear. Okay? But like I said, we're in the beginning stages of uh, World War III now. You got a term called uh, a gray war. Meaning, when you look it up, when you mention a gray war, and what it is, it goes into cyber attacks, you know what I'm saying, proxy wars, you know, messing with the economy, you know what I'm saying, things of that nature. So we're in the beginning stages of it. By the time they hit that right there, that means that missiles finna start flying to Babylon the Great. So that's the end game. But before uh, the missiles start flying, he gonna appear. Okay, go ahead. Since out of, uh, out of number, from the four winds of the of the heaven, east, west, north, south. Go okay. ahead. To subdue the man. To subdue. So when he come back, they gonna try to make him subject to them. Meaning yeah. they gonna try to conquer him and make him submit to them. Yeah. They gonna try to rule him. Okay. The Savior. Go ahead. It says to subdue the man that came out of the sea. Mm -hmm. But I beheld. The sea is talking about space. Go ahead. But I beheld and lo. He, he had graven, graved himself a great mountain. A great mountain. That's what I was talking about earlier concerning the mountain. Oh, the spaceship with the mountain, yeah. Yeah, that's what he's seen. Go ahead. And flew up upon it, mm -hmm. but I would, but I would and, have and seen. Who the, and who the world even called Jesus to fly to. He could actually fly. That's how he was able to walk on water, because he was hovering over it. That's where they get the idea from when you watch Super, the old Superman with General Zod, and he was hovering on that water because he could fly. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So who the world enemy called Jesus to fly back then? Okay, that's how he was able to walk on water. And he could control the water. He made the water calm down. Okay? I just like uh, Moses, they said he separated the water. Yeah, using the staff. Of the heavenly, of the of the heavenly Father gave him the power to separate uh, the uh, so-called Red Sea. Really, it's the Gulf of uh, Akbar. Okay, when you when you are uh, looking up in the, uh, you got two different. You got two. Matter of fact, you got two different ones. Okay, I'm gonna show you in the back of this Bible the map that they went that the Israelites, you got the Red Sea, right? Yeah. You got the Gulf of Suez and the Gulf of Akbar. Now, when you Google it, it'll say the Gulf of Suez. But when you look at the maps, yeah. the old ancient maps, you can see that that's where they crossed it right there. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, and it's connected to the Red Sea. So yeah. they went through the Gulf of Akbar. Okay, yeah. and when you Google, when you YouTube it, when you YouTube it, the archaeologists found it, found Pharaoh's chariots, okay, in the Gulf of uh, Akbar, okay? When you, when you uh, YouTube it and see and look and, and search out where they found uh, Pharaoh's chariots, they found it in the Gulf of Akbar. Now, like I said, when you Google it, it'll tell you the Gulf of uh, Suez. Nah, that ain't where they went, so that's the Gulf of Suez right there. See? Yeah, yeah, they, ain't, they, ain't, they ain't right there. They over there. Yeah. You see? See what I'm saying? Okay. See, they crossed over there. They ain't over there. Yeah. See, this is an ancient map. See? They, they ain't at the Gulf of uh, Suez. They're in the Gulf of Akbar. Okay? And that's connected to the Red Sea. So, see? 
But like I said, when you Google it, it say the Gulf of uh, Suez, yeah. which is wrong. All right, go ahead. It's uh, verse seven. But I would have seen the region or place where where out the hill was graven, and I could not. See, you couldn't see it. Yeah. He said he couldn't see. He looked for a mountain where it was cut out. He was like, man, you know what I'm saying? You see the mountain where it was cut out. It was a ship. It was a father warship. You know what I'm saying? Your house shot was in the control of it. Yeah. With the rest of the angels. Go ahead. So verse 8. And after this I beheld, and lo, all they which were gathered together to subdue him were sore afraid. See, they were scared to fight him. Yeah, yeah, when they yeah. seen him with all that power, they were scared to fight him. But this is the cold part about the heavenly father and his son. Now they control the elements. They control wind. They control the lightning. They control water. And yeah. we are made out of water. When you go into the book of Genesis, it tells you that uh, that we was brought forth out of the waters and brought forth onto the earth, meaning the richest soil in, in the earth, and it was up under the waters. And everything was brought forth out of the dead of the waters and made live, okay? So that's what had happened to us. We were brought forth and made out of the waters on the earth, and our bodies made out of water. Now, going back, to what I was saying concerning who the world in the of Jesus. When they was in that ship and he was sleeping and that water was rough, right? Yeah. He rebuked the water and he made the water calm down. And they looked at him and said, what manner of man is this? Now we made out of water. Now, the military powers on this earth, they are elements, okay? We are, we are walking elements, so to speak. So what the Heavenly Father Son did was control the element. So he said, look, I'm gonna make them fight me even though they scared you. See, I'm gonna make because that's what type of person and type of powers they are. They 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 like war. They love it. They love it to get down. They love they love to get down in war. Man. And when you read in the books of Exodus, when the Israelites came out of uh when they when the Pharaoh was drowned, when they were singing the song, they were saying the heavenly father is a man of war because of the way he did them ancient Egyptians. Yeah. Okay? So they like war. They like getting down, man. Contrary to pop belief. And when you read Isaiah, the ninth chapter, it tells you the attributes of who the world enemy called Jesus. He's a man of war, man. just like his father. So go ahead. It says, and yet there's fight. And lo, as he saw the violence of the multitude that came, the military power, he neither lifted up his hand, nor held sword, nor any instrument of war. See, because it wasn't identified like bombs and machine guns and, uh, uh, you know what I'm saying, that the military of the earth have. The military weapons, the drones and things like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. They weren't identified like that. The way he's explaining it, it's identified as spiritual power. Yeah. Okay? Go ahead. Beyond, beyond what this earth recognizes. Yeah. Okay? This is uh, verse 10. But only I saw that he sent out of his mouth as it, as it had been a blast of fire. Uh, out of the bottom of that chariot, like I showed you. Yeah. The warship. Father warship. A blast of fire, man. Come out of the bottom of it. Go ahead. And out of his lips a flaming breath. Mm -hmm. And out of his tongue he cast out sparks mm -hmm. and pimples. Mm -hmm. Verse 11. And they were all mixed together. The blast of fire, the flaming breath, and the great tempest. Mm -hmm. And fell with violence upon the multitude which were which was prepared to fight. Mm -hmm and burn them up every one so that so that upon a sudden of an innumerable multitude nothing was to be perceived everything wiped out that was the power that who the world is the car jesus had he wiped the militaries out they were ready to fight them and they say in the in the in the northern kingdom, no mosque. <laughs> no more. <laughs> it was over with. Go ahead. 
but only dust, <clears throat> only dust and smell of smoke. Mm -hmm. When I saw this, I was afraid. Now, he said he was afraid, and this was a vision yeah. that he had. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? This this was a, basically like a dream that he was having, and he and he seen a, and he was like it was like a hologram, and he was scared when he seen it. Yeah, now, this, this, this is going to take place in real oh, life. Oh, this is John talking about. No, no, this is Ezra. Oh, okay. This is Ezra. Now, we and these people on this earth is going to see this in real time, in real life. And he was scared in a dream. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? That's the power of the Heavenly Father and His Son, man. The violence that He's going to bring, man. Yeah. And these people think He's coming back with roses. And everybody gonna be taking bubble baths and stuff like that. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Yeah, see, there's a lot of books in the Bible. I ain't read. I know that's one of my had to. Uh, oh, that's the part. Of, that's yeah. part of it. That's part of the Bible. Now they took that out. Oh, they took it out. Yeah, they took it out. Yeah, because, I was about to say, I didn't even know that was even in there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah they yeah, took yeah. it out. Now. 1611 Bible. Yeah, that's in the 1611 Bible. Now I'm gonna read some for you concerning. You know what I'm saying? This is the Bible dictionary, right? And I'm going to go to the word uh, Bible in here. This is Zandavan Compact Bible Dictionary, right? Yeah. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go here, right? And I'm going to read something, right, concerning the Bible, right? This is, uh, uh, I go straight to the point. This is uh, the King James Version. It says, uh, let me see. It says, 47 of the best Hebrew and Greek scholars of of the day were divided in, into six groups. Three, three for the Old Testament, two for the New Testament, and one for the Apocrypha. So this right here is part of the King James Bible, the 1611, but they just took it out. And what we read is Steal the Bible, okay? But the real one. Yeah, yeah, the oh, you can go to the Bible store, or you can order it online. You know what I'm saying? They sell them at the Bible Barnes store. And Barnes and Noble, Books a Million. You know they sell what's them. It, what's it called again? Apocrypha. He has, he has been used up. You know what I'm saying? That's why I break it apart. You know, <laughs> hey, when you use the Bible, you break it apart like that, right? Yeah, and yeah, you just got to store it up and still look brand new. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I ain't reading. It. You know, you know, but go ahead, bro. All right, this is uh, verse 12. It says, afterward, I saw the same man come down from the mountain and call he said, up. He said a mountain. He's talking about the UFO, man. Now, let me ask you this. How many more Bibles in there that's not in the, in the other Bibles that we have? I think right. it's like 14. Matter of fact, those are the first. Like I said, I ain't never heard of that before. That's why we said that. I'm thinking, I ain't never heard yeah, of that. Yeah, that ain't go right there. I was 14 of them. I ain't never heard of none of them. Uh, those right there would be in the 1611. Yeah. So those, so, 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 a lot of those, are the, that's basically what they be talking about when they say it's the parts of the Bible is missing. Yeah. You know yeah, that's what they talking about. And, and there's probably more to it than that, though. Well, you, you know, know I tell you this right here. I tell you this right here, brother. Now, our people like to get into all these different books, right? Yeah, yeah. Now, the King James 1611, that's enough for us to get the understanding of the Heavenly Father and the Son and receive salvation. Yeah. That's all we need. We don't need all the book of Yasher, the book of Enoch. We don't need all them books, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay? Now, the so-called white man got them, but those are the ones that's out there, not the real one, because he put them out there to make money. It's a money thing with him. Now, these so-called white people, these Edomites, because that's their biblical nationality, they got 5,000 years worth of history. They got it in the Library of Congress, they got it in the Smithsonian Institute, and they got it in the Vatican. They got 5,000 years worth of history. So of course they got the book of Enoch and the book of Jasper, but those not the books that they sell in the, them books right there they sell in the store, them not the real ones. He just put them out there to make money. But what we got, the 1611 Bible, that's enough to guide us and keep us stable uh, with the Heavenly Father and the Son to 
he come back and deliver the elect of the nation of Israel. That's all we need, man. The 1611 King James Bible, man. You know? So go ahead, brother. 